Hello students, welcome to the movie poster face swap project. In this project you're going to create a movie poster using face swapping skills, the blending erasers, free transform, text tools, lots of the skills that you already have are going to be used in order to create this photo. Uh, it's important for you to look through these slides. I'm going to provide that to you with a link on Edmodo. So here's a very good example. In my face, you can see that the colors are realistic. The text is all original. So what I did was I found a photo of Rambo by himself. This was not a movie poster to begin with, and that's one of the things I'll be looking for. So the goal is to make an original movie poster similar to this, where you create all the content. So here's a before and after. Here's the photo of Rambo on the left after, uh, before. I edited everything and here's the after. So obviously you can see I changed lots of colors. Um, I even used some of the brushes to paint rain over my face to make it look even more realistic. And I've matched the color of my face to the color of the skin. So a major tip I can give you is that when you take your photo, if you choose to use a photo of yourself, um, given the app that I provide on the links and the website for our class uh, you have to look in the same direction as the person you're gonna face swap with so if you find an image of a celebrity or a person like here make sure that whoever's face you're replacing it with their face is in the general same general direction that'll help out with the editing so here's your checklist for the project a realistic face swap is worth 25 points the name of the movie star is going to be your name that's worth 10 points with a <clears throat> with a drop shadow on it a movie catchphrase that's worth five points the release date of the movie is not shown here but most movie posters have a release date an original movie title that's worth five points movie rating find an image of a rating tag and place it in the bottom left movie poster credits place them at the bottom if you search for movie poster credits and uh, search for transparency movie post credits you can find a generic one and place it on your poster so that totals out to 60 points you actually will get five bonus points for using a photo of yourself so here's a very good realistic example here I have a photo of the student and the photo of the edited version you can see the colors blend well it's very realistic around the edges okay I'm going to provide, well, you're looking at the tutorial right now. So you're going to get this um, the slideshow where I have lots of examples, okay, and even photos for you to use. I'm also providing a website where you can download photos of my face to use. Okay, so let's get started. I've already found a photo I want to use, and I'm going to use an image of the Expendables and I'm going to use one of my images to face swap with. So when you get to the website on my if you're going to use one of my faces just copy image address of your photos. Let me copy image address of this one cuz it's a nice and big photo. And then go to Pixlr. You can do if you save it, you can open image from computer or create new image. What I'm going to do is open image URL, click OK. okay. So I usually always unlock the layer by double clicking it, make that a habit. Where's my photo? Here's my photo. Okay. Copy image address on Pixlr. We know how to do this. Go to layer, open image URL as a layer, click OK. All right. So, first thing I notice is that my face is already very small. That means I need to make the layer underneath smaller. So, I'm going to edit, free transform that. The reason I'm doing that is because when I adjust this, if I make that any larger, it's going to get blurry. If you see any checkers, make sure that you crop that out. All right, so let's get into the nitty gritty here. So I'm going to take my face and I'm going to swap it out with one of these guys. And let's see, who's the best one? I think this guy right here. Okay. I'm choosing him because he's got that big bald head. His face shape kind of matches my face shape. So let's see if I can 
make it look realistic enough. I'm clicking on the eraser and remember this second row of erasers are soft brushes. That means the edges are soft. And the first thing I'm going to do is just move this, you know, roughly in the same area and start erasing around my face. Okay, not too much. Okay, I'm actually going to remove my hair just like that. You can see the blending erasers. What they do is they make that blurred edge. Okay. Now obviously my head's too big. So I'm going to go to edit, free transform. I'm holding shift down on the keyboard to keep the proportion. I'm also noticing that my head's a little bit tilted, so I'm going to rotate it. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right. So this photo is black and white. Depending on the colors of your photos, you can go into hue and saturation and adjust the saturation, adjust the hue. So this is all black and white and it actually is pretty light. Okay, so I'm going to adjust that to try and match as best as I can. I click OK. Adjustment, brightness and contrast. This is high contrast. So there's a lot of contrast, not too much. Okay. I'm increasing the contrast because obviously all the blacks in the rest of the image are really dark and the lights are really light. I can adjust brightness if I want to also. Click OK. And then what I'll do is I'll go back with the eraser and erase parts that I don't need. Um, I did too much here. So where the faces intersect here with this character, I don't want them there. There we go. I don't know if I want to keep my beard. Let's see. I'm going to erase around that. There we go. some more here okay so my face fits this guy's face pretty good I'll move it over just a little bit right here the colors don't match that well um, but this the reason for that is the photo I'm using of my face is not a very high res photo also the original photo here is pretty gritty so if I go to filter and give it some noise, I can make it look more like the movie poster and click OK. So if you find a poster or image like that's gritty like this, that filter is called noise. You don't have to use that if it doesn't have grit like this. OK. So let's see what that looks like. I would say that this is a pretty decent face swap. It's not one of my best ones. The color doesn't match that great. Um, however, the examples I've shown you are better. Um, but basically the skill is using the blending erasers and your color adjustments and play around with your color adjustments to try and match the color as best as possible. So the rest of the content for the movie poster, I'm going to leave that up to you. Uh, keep in mind that there's this checklist of things that you need to have on your poster. As far as the size goes of the poster, I don't really care how um, if it's in portrait or landscape. As long as it's a nice, clear, high-def photo um, like the examples I've shown you. Okay? And obviously, if you have any questions, let me know, and I'll be around to help you out.